Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor and I'm on my way to my job, so today's gonna be a short video. What I want to tell you is self-love doesn't have to come at the expense of your goal or your ambitions or your visions. I think a lot of people assume that if I love myself, I must be content with where I am and I must uh, stop doing whatever it is I think is important to do. And I think that's why people don't practice self-love. Uh, they can't love themselves because they have to be hard on themselves because they have to reach their dreams. What I would argue for is self-love despite of your plans, despite of your goals. I want to say practice self-love but stay true to your dreams. Say to yourself, I love myself and I accept myself for where I am right now and I want to get to this point. I want to achieve this and I want to uh, have this come true. I love myself for who I am and uh, because I love myself for who I am, I want to achieve and become successful as a performer. Because I love myself, I will be diligent, I will work hard, I will push myself to become the best person that I, that I know I am. I accept myself and where I am right now. And I accept my goals and my passions. Practice some kind of self-love that reinforces and spurs you on towards your goal, wherever, whatever that goal is, whatever it is you want to do, whatever it is what you want to achieve. Your positive affirmations should strengthen you in your goal, it should give you energy, you know? Just pure perfectionism, like I suck, I'm terrible, why am I so bad? It's not gonna help. And neither is just self-love. I love myself, I'm happy with myself, I'm not gonna push myself, I'm not gonna uh, be, I'm not gonna want to be the best. Uh, because both can drive a sense of emptiness. Because we feel so badly that we want to be the best, or we feel so badly that we want to be successful as performers, or we feel so badly that we want to create amazing art. We feel that, and we are on that life path. You know, you're, when you're on your life path, that is your goal to self-individuation. The more I study growth paths, the more I realize growth paths are entirely circumstantial. You choose your own path in life, what you want to be good at, what you care about, what is important to you. And if you think about doing it, if you dream of it, that's what your life path is. The more you dream about it, the more that speaks to you, you know. If you see yourself, dream of yourself standing on stage and singing to other people, if you dream of your oh, creating art or music, if you dream of uh, being an inventor, like that's what you're meant to do, that's your life path, and that's how you reach self-individuation. And I think a lot of people argue that no, self-individuation comes when we let go of all that, when we stop performing or creating art, when we stop uh, being performers, when we stop ourselves and just calm down and stop wanting so much of ourselves and stop demanding so much of ourselves and we're I think most of us are in that tug of war it's like uh, take a successful writer they are in that tug of war of I want to write something amazing something truly remarkable but I'm also thinking all the time about giving up and not doing it and just letting go and just maybe I would be happier if I just let go if I just found satisfaction with where I am right now and we still dread both scenarios we dread becoming successful artists and writers uh, because we dread the hate and pressure and burdens we put on ourselves when we do but we also hate the thought of giving up because of emptiness it makes us feel to not have something to do and we realize we have to look somewhere in between we have to change our script we have to find the self-love that will help us become successful as writers and artists and creators and perhaps through that we will become more successful more happy more fulfilled I think the one that becomes a successful writer or performer through self-hate and self-loading will constantly feel uh, it will feel like having whipped yourself on the back it will feel like stress, it will feel like anxiety, it will feel harsh, it will feel bird like a burden and it will strengthen your dreams of giving up, it will strengthen your urge to quit while those that come to success, uh, those that truly 
flourish as performers through self-love and embracing yourself and shining through your positive qualities and accepting who you are they become the most successful and this also has to do with your values you have to find a way to align your life path with your values you have to be a performer sure but you have to find a way to if you need it find a way to maintain your privacy while you do you want to become successful but if you value modesty at the same time you'll want to find a way to manage that modesty and to flourish and become successful through your modesty rather than despite of it you might you might value being kind and you have to find a way to get an outlet for that no matter what you do if you value being kind you have to let yourself be kind no matter what you do no matter where you are you have to be kind as a scientist you have to be kind as a performer you have to be kind as an artist that has to come out somehow so you have to think about how do I get my values met how do I get my needs met while working towards my life path or my ambition and life and uh, I think that's how success comes because those values are fuels they are a practice of self-love every time you reaffirm what you want for yourself and what you need that's the time when you give your ti yourself time to just love yourself and that's also when you give yourself the energy the passion the fire that will make you truly flourish no matter what it is you want to do so tell me in the comments down below tell me a time when you practice self-love and tell me the outcome of that tell me what it gave you tell me what it led to tell me a time where you reinforced your own values and where you told yourself and everyone around you what you needed to succeed and tell me what happened afterwards and if you like this video if you agree with this message feel free to share it with other friends and people around you in your circles that you think need this message good luck and have a nice day and hope to see you all in the next video